<laughs> Hello, Twitch. So good to see you. We are doing a very special stream this week and next week. Unfortunately, Michael had a death in the family, so he is in Canada this weekend. So we are sending um, our, um, our good thoughts yes. their way to him and Carly. Um, but since uh, we've been talking to Pat about doing, I think what the content creators call an activation. What well, oh, we just call it is like fucking our. Yes, yeah, what they call an activation. I okay. think it is. What? An activation might. Are you sure it's not synergy? <laughs> it's definitely synergy. We're doing that. An activation, but it also might not be that. I don't know. Anyways, um, we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks uh, about doing it. And uh, since this came up, we're like, hey, bro, sorry for the short notice. Do you think you could be able to do it tomorrow? Pat's <laughs> 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 <Best>, like, sure. <laughs> uh, so here we are. Uh, this is Pat Edwards. If you have not seen him before, how fucking dare you? Uh, because he's been on um, uh, Geekly... Losing. Shut up! Shut up! I, I mean, so if you're a fan of the show, like you know, yeah. I mean, it's like the most favorite character in yeah. the history, and like the ten year history yeah, of Green's Adventures, Doug yeah. Rebel, like yeah, yeah. The dead chicken gets it. One sub, one flex. Um, uh, we, do, am I should do I do? Or no? I, no, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna do it. <laughs> um, so Pat, tell us a little something about. You're gonna have to do all of this again, by the way. Uh, t tell us a little bit about yourself, and then a little bit about what we're doing yeah. this evening. And again, you're gonna have to do all of this again. That's fine. <laughs> uh, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Pat, your new best buddy. I am a professional writer, and I write novels. This novel series space tripping which is sci-fi comedy but also i have a, a pretty active career in the ttrpg space publishing space and i've written a number of things i've written a shitload of things that are in production that have yet to come out Tell us about but uh, <laughs> um some really cool stuff uh classic fifth edition stuff so i got a sci-fi one coming up in the next year that's already written that's huge and this thing that we're here doing today is I was hired by this really cool company called Wider Path, as in Wide Wider Path Games, and they got to start. They make a lot of um, <laughs> like D and D for or, uh, RPG for family games. But oh, this, fine. what they did is, they took there is a, a new ish. There's a, I think the third book. Forgive me, Michael, if you're watching it. He might have. He was going to try and check in the author. There's there's a fantasy book series called The Songs of Chaos or Songs of Chaos. And there are, I know for a fact, two books, because I'm reading the second book currently, there's two books out now, and a third either just released or is about to release, and um, they're, they're fun, they're just tons of fun, it's about dragon riders, people bonding with dragons, and riding them into battle, and fucking shit up, and doing cool oh, yeah. powers. I mean, it's a very and... dragon time period right now, mm -hmm. with the House mm -hmm. of the Dragon show out, oh, yeah. it's, mm -hmm. it's dragon there's... season. And that's more synergy, you know? Exactly. I mean, Content is just lousy with dragons in the best way these days. Love, we love a dragon. With all these dragons. They're they're just the best. Pat you know. guested on um, Cast of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Unlike oh, somebody. Yeah, I was busy at work. Listen, I. <laughs> I mean, Nika, how jealous were you that I got to discuss the Jerk Window episode? <laughs> <and you did>. um, <laughs> honestly, I. I'm sad I wasn't there because I was messaging Felicia like while I was watching it and I'm pretty sure well I was watching it later than y'all but mm. I was messaging her like while you guys were recording because I forgot the time um and yeah I'm sad I wasn't there she said it was uh chaos energy it was also mm -hmm. the darkest episode of Game of Thrones that has this ever one, happened oh my god this one was so like, dark dog like it's a joke. You gotta stop making it so fucking dark. <laughs> Literally dark. Yes. Nika, that was very funny, your yeah. tweet, where it's just a black image like, that was very, like, yeah, was very funny. Like, very funny. Very real excellent. hard. <laughs> I didn't see it. I said a little spoiler for next week's Game of Thrones, and then I literally just tweeted a black picture. Oh, that's funny. Can you delete it and let me tweet it? <laughs> Give me that. It's Give a great that. joke. Give it to me. <laughs> Give, it. Give it to me. You got to get Felicia. She's got a couple of tweets that have hit, like, real fucking funny. I, I thought about making a joke, but we, I just did one. I was like, can you just 
HBO, because you just turn up the, the fucking Please. lights. Like, like, like holy the, shit. I, you know the I, wild thing? That whole scene was shot in broad daylight. What? They did it on purpose. Yeah. So they just like, we're like, uh, darkness up, <laughs> like brightness Light down. off. Yeah. Oh, I, so... I, mean, I feel like I saw a thing that was like, oh, it's because like the TV settings and... are bad. It's like, make not. Not only that. fucking shows for TV, <laughs> you dumb so bitch. Dark. I'm sorry, I'm getting <laughs> yeah. really angry sorry, about spoil, it. <laughs> spoiler alert, uh, listen, if you haven't watched it, but, and it's dark, here it comes, but for, a, a, it's super dark, you can't tell, for a scene where two people who look like they could be twins essentially <laughs> are fucking and it's like so you can't tell who's who or Please. what's what and and also, like, yeah. who's inside who if yeah. we, well, again like thank god the rest Tim. of the episode That's my favorite. was like good or i would have been like furious about it i've been so mad yeah. yeah but like that sex scene was like wait it was too long it was not necessary mm-hmm. but it's game of thrones and they love doing that they love to yep. have incest on screen they can't help themselves hey you know where there's there's not any incest. <laughs> <laughs> there's not any incest in the Songs of Chaos books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 um, Pat. Book three's coming out. <laughs> we got like checking my phone. It's pretty incest. <laughs> um, uh, that's great. We're laughing. Uh, I'm laughing. You're laughing. But you know what's a serious matter. Thank you so much for uh, uh, subscribing on Twitch. Arc Magellius, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Token Filipino. Thank you so much, 4 or 5 Wits. 4 or 5 Wits have been here for 60 months. That's... Token Filipino has been here for 30 min- 39 months. Uh, uh, I don't know if anyone... Is 60 the highest? Uh, if Jeff is here, we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, here. Arc Magellius, just, I believe, subscribed for the very first time. You're just as welcome as josh is pope grizzly 23 thank you so much for being here for the 23 months under siege three two one 28 months d martin g resubbed with prime wow you're subbing yourself instead of someone else weird d martin g uh, is i think gave away nine subs so oh, whatever <laughs> the dead chicken gave out one community sub gift thank you so much titter tot nine gave out one community sub gift thank you so 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 much convertonian resubbed for they've been here for 30 whole beautiful months thank you so much patrick nielsen 16 months thank you so much max power thank you so much for subbing for 26 huge glorious months humbled follower has been here for nine months that's a baby thank you so much for being here mr freaking sunshine gave out one community sub gift means a lot shelwin 33 has been here for 26 months and subbing thank you so much post sing has been here for 27 months thank you so much Supersonic Mike D. That's 38 months of subs right there. Thank you so much, Supersonic Mike D. Chewy Lick Mick, I think. Uh, I've probably said it before because they've been here for 18 months. Who knows what I said last time? Um, every month, every week we do this. Uh, it's a mm-hmm. special thing we like to do that is, um, we call it the uh, sub of the week, and it's Nika Howard. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Jeff uh, just showed up. Okay. Jeff sub, we gotta oh, know. Jeff, yeah, this is how <laughs> we do it. Jeff know. sub, we gotta know. Go like, is it possible to go above sixty? Yeah, we. No one knows. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and uh, that was all for right now. Oh, there's many more. Oh my God, Tianikis <laughs> is at sixty months. Oh. Whoa. Wait, but is is that? Well, it's both 60, so oh, wow. it's the number that matters. So, Josh and Jeff, 60 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, D. Martin G., for the gifted sub uh, and all the gifted subs you, you've you've done for us in the past. Posting gave out yet another community sub gift. D. Martin G. gave out yet another sub gift. Thank you so much. Susie, somewhat strong, has been here for 25 months, and we're so thankful she is here. We missed her so much on Fweeking. Darkest days of day, ah. but you know what? Tash had to die. Got stepped on by Big Bug. <laughs> uh, no, R-I-P. Tash is not fucking dead. How dare you? R-I-P. Yeah, you've been, you guys have been gone for a couple days, and she got stepped on by Big Bug. I disagree with this canon. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you here, uh, we will have a uh, a link to the Kickstarter launching next week in the show notes Mm -hmm. for this episode on the podcast zone and next week uh when we're streaming the part two of this 
we will have said affiliate link because the Kickstarter does launch next week. Yeah, on um, Tuesday, right? Yep. And if you sign up through our code, is this right, Pat? Um, uh, we get a little kissy of that. That's correct. Hashtag so ad, I, hashtag sponsored. I, I'm going to drop, if you just want to take a look at it, I'm going to drop a link to the pre-launch page for cool. this. But you're here because you love this community. I love this community, the geeky yeah. community. So if you want to support the community, go ahead and sign up for the pre-launch. That's cool. But when it comes time, if you're going to back, if you're going to back the project, wait until it, it goes live next a week from today, which is the fourth, but it goes live on the 11th, Tuesday, the 11th. And yes, we're going to get a geekly affiliate link as soon as it goes live. And their wider path games is going to do as, as, you know, you know him, you love him. Tim likes to say, give Geekly a little kissy. We give a kissy. Love to have a kissy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We would have done it for free because we like Pat, but, yeah. you know, we might as well become <laughs> slightly better business people <laughs> <laughs> and uh, take uh, the, the yeah. alms as they're doing. And as I said in chat, we can't give you the link until the Kickstarter launches. Yeah. So. So, I think we got, we, we kind of got. We were, I was, we were started talking about Dragon Incest, which is a totally normal, we fine, did start about which Dragon. is a very exceptional <laughs> yeah. thing. Basically, I was the book series Songs of Chaos. What Wider Path has done is taken that the world of that series, created a fifth edition source book that's set in that world. Uh, the world is really cool. What's super super cool is the whole thing is what they've done is they've made this really hard on themselves, but I think it's going to be worth it because it's going to be a lot of fun. Is if you're going to play through this, you're kind of throwing out the traditional classes. A fifth edition yeah. and your class is basically what type of dragon rider are you because there's Ooh. five different types and they all have different or there were there six I don't know. uh five, <laughs> and they all have different power sets and abilities and it's not just a matter of like types of damage you deal there's very different as the as they're learning looking at their character sheets some are beefier and stronger naturally too and some are can cast more spells but are a little bit lighter so it's uh we're gonna we're gonna take this for a spin here in a little bit and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah hopefully we can show off uh both the cool ideas and how you can insert mm -hmm. it into your own campaign if you'd like yeah if you know what i mean uh i'm doing a few behind the scenes things and uh after that i think we're ready to go are you ready to go pat Any i'm ready things? to go Everyone else ready to go? Yeah. You're ready? Bachman, we've missed you so much. Bachman's back, everybody. Give him a hug. Bachman is back. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, just like he was never gone, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He, he eated too many spaghetti, and he had to miss <laughs> three weeks of podcasts. <laughs> okay here's an idea a bread bowl but the bread bowl is meatball and you put the pasta inside of it oh. what's your thoughts i was gonna wait a, a bowl it's one giant bowl shaped noodle oh whoa that i don't like that i i feel like a bowl meatball so wait, you have, you to, you have to cook it al dente though or it's gonna fall apart oh we fuck like... and they can't hear you <laughs> Bachman doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a toot. Fucking funny stuff. Oh <laughs> Bachman my God. said some really funny and it. edgy things, I would say. Yeah, some things I wouldn't say again. <laughs> <laughs> He's a regular Dane Cook over there. But what if <laughs> what if what if say the pasta was made of the meat? And then there was like in it and the there was just a pasta. big pasta ball. <laughs> Long thin. <laughs> I hate being invited to a pasta ball. A pasta ball is just a dumpling. Yeah, but it is yeah. big. <laughs> it's big, though. Uh, I think the, thinking of a huge meatball is very upsetting because either you've got to like build it like a bowl, mm -hmm. or you're scooping out the meatball. I, I, I have issue with a huge meatball in the sense of because I don't. Part of it's not going to be cooked right because either the inside yeah, is going to yeah. be under. Either the inside. That's why you make it big. Or the outside's going to be a you gotta get rid of the bad mess. <laughs> if, you make it, if you make it big, then by the time you get to the uncooked part, you're sick of it, and you don't want to eat that part anyway. No, no, no. I have never. You sous vide it. <laughs> a sous vide giant people? Yes. Oh, that sounds... I gotta be real with you. That sounds bad. Bachman, is that Justice League behind you? <laughs> yeah. It's... Because it's in 4.3, so it fits the TV. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> 
It's in four three. Yeah, Zack Snyder's is yeah. Why? I that's that's I feel like that's already been debated, and you can just you could say yeah. I'm so far out of the loop. I thought it was all in black and white. <laughs> I mean, I just like I don't know. Um, that would have made just about as much sense. By the way, both the names are Martha. Parents. I actually so, uh, have a plan to like. <laughs> I'm gonna rip that to like uh, to like VHS and put like old logos and like Hell shit in yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Songs of Chaos. If you want to win the beautiful Die Hard dice, uh, I think we have the Die Hard code working. I for did I did I talk to you guys about that? What did I talk to you guys yeah, about? Yeah, I Die remember. Hard dice? I don't think so. Okay, cool. Uh, it might be active. Someone try it. Someone try to buy dice and see what happens. Uh, dragons with an exclamation mark. Uh, it, it, uh, I talked to Todd the other day. Oh. Where's the exclamation it? mark? What? Where, where is it? I mean, it could... at the end. Oh, okay. the, it's weirdly at the end. Yeah. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> That's what we should do one one week. Hashtag dragons. Hashtag dragons. <laughs> uh, shit. All right, I'm ready. I think. Yeah, so who's gonna <coughs> intro us? Because Michael and we want we can't do the normal one, right? That's true. I'm, I like how Tim, you hate my record style. I'm like, just go for it. I'll line it up later. I am so stressed that we haven't started recording. And also, recording. David doesn't oh. give a fuck, but which is the funniest part. But, uh, Michael and I don't like change. Well, I don't like change. He doesn't like change either. But I don't think he's as neurotic about things like this. Get audacity open. <laughs> Are you gonna intro us? I can, I unless one of y'all want, want to. to. I know. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Pat, you can't. You're the guest. Stop <laughs> saying me, me, me. You're the guest, and you're the. DJ. All right, Pat, get your audacity or whatever open, and then on go, we're gonna click go, and then we're gonna say recording, recording. Then we're gonna say hi, David, and some other things. Everyone ready? Yeah. Oh. All right. On go. Three, two, one, go. Recording. 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 Hi, David. David sent me the link to upload my audio like an hour before we got on this call. Oh, he's perfect. That's whenever he he's wanted so you to upload it. it. <laughs> he's like, he's uploading it now. <laughs> you're late. I know you haven't recorded yet. fuck isn't it in the drive? <laughs> David is just like so on top of it. All right. Uh, let let me know when your audio is up. Is the I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me know what's up. It's like, <laughs> like shit. <laughs> Could help but notice you didn't upload your audio. Damn. All right, let's get silence. Greetings, adventurers. I am Tim Lanning your dragon rider this evening and joining me as always is mike bachman oh my god hi nika howard oh hello jennifer cheek hello and a very 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 special guest gm pat edwards oh my buddies michael unfortunately had uh, a death in the family so we are sending our condolences our love our kisses mm -hmm. and things like that his way and to all of the family on that side. And um, because of that, it's sort of uh, lined up with a time that we are planning on playing this fun new spin on D&D 5th Edition with our friend Pat. Pat, do you want to tell us a little something about what we're about to get up to? Yeah, I'd love to, Tim. dragons. <laughs> yeah, today we are going to play a little snippet, a little, a little, get a little taste of a cool upcoming fifth edition source book called songs of chaos it's an adaptation of a book series the songs of chaos book series by michael miller they are uh fun books fun fantasy adventure books about dragon riders you know Ooh. humans bonding with dragons and fighting off evil in the world the evil scourge of the world which are swarms of bug monster undead bug monsters that okay. try to eat everybody num 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 and no, it's, it's really cool. Uh, this great company, Wider Path Games, has done all the crunch of basically throwing out all of the uh, standard classes in 5th edition and took on the Herculean task of saying, how do, how do we actually make this work? And then they built out a new kind of class system that is both 
in my opinion, um, there's a lot to play around with. It's very mm -hmm. robust, but it's also not a very steep learning curve because basically it, the big choice you got to make is what kind of dragon you're yeah. going to pair with. A big one. A big one. <laughs> I want the biggest dragon. The big chonky boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I and... wanted to be like smoking <laughs> weed on the side of a van. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should have picked Emerald like Bachman then. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, you messed it. up. Uh, you picked, you that's picked why you picked so fast. Yeah, you picked the square of the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my uh, dragon actually has uh, a tattoo of just a normal Chevy Astro van on the side of him. Oh wow! So, <laughs> play on trope there. But yes. uh, that sounds really fun. I, I like when games take the familiar and add a little twist to it yeah and sometimes with supplements it can get like overly confusing if you keep adding and adding and adding they're fun there's stuff you can do with it so i mm -hmm. like that uh, as you described they're kind of uh changing the core of fifth edition a little bit to fit their idea i really like what they've done is it's a source book primarily it's the world where this takes place so fans of the book series can play in this world mm -hmm. uh where i was brought in to the project was so they they did all this hard work and they said well we need someone who who knows writing in these systems that can kind of write narratively and give us so so what i did was i wrote uh and in, just an introduction not a whole full-length campaign just like an introductory adventure is kind of like a a, a for, uh, kind of a head start for mm -hmm. the G, your, your gms to kind of here's a jumping off point to get the players familiar with what's going on get them bonded with the dragon from there, go. The world is you. It's your sandbox. Go have fun. And then a bunch of, uh, so in addition to this introductory adventure that takes players from level zero to level three, we have um, over two dozen individual encounters that oh, cool. are were built, designed to be pretty malleable, where you can kind of, you know, drop them as needed if you're just looking for something to kind of thicken up or it might spark some interest. I really like the way that they've structured this because it, in my opinion, does a really good job of walking the line of giving gms tools to make it a little bit easier and fun for them but also giving them plenty of room to put their own creative spin on their campaigns hell yeah sounds like it's a good value if you're listening <laughs> to this uh in podcast form you can go to the description and there will be a special link to take you to the kickstarter page which runs from october 11th right pat correct to it goes live 29 uh, days after that <laughs> yeah yep yeah, yeah, whatever that is whatever that <laughs> is <laughs> october 2022 yeah. mm -hmm. so you can go there and if you use our link when you sign up for the any of the tiers for kickstarter uh for their uh songs of chaos uh uh, uh um kickstarter run then we get a little uh kissy on the back end as we like to say so legally this is hashtag ad hashtag sponsored but since uh, we like pat we probably would have done this for free regardless because we like to support our buds that do cool things mm -hmm. i would have sent a bill <laughs> <laughs> i would have made pat buy me like a drink or something or something i don't know i know to do that a time or two like you have to drive comes. me in your car somewhere that too we can make that happen no uh that's shout out to wider path games so it's their project and they brought me in and then they were they reached out and we were talking to them after and, and as they were saying we want to do some promotional stuff and they said we know you have a foot in that world do you have anything you'd like to do set up i said i know this super awesome community that i think would be really interested in this oh i could just get on legally the longest running dungeons and dragons podcast <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't and if you say it out loud you don't have to put all the asterisks in it you know mm -hmm. the asterisks you? are just like you just like imagine them there you know? yeah yeah they're they're technicalities really but mm -hmm. can i tell you guys just a quick little aside to the sure. affront i had happened to me in my parents home i walked into my parents home and my own mother had purchased a book that was not from our podcast what and I held it up and I screamed. I didn't really scream. I just <laughs> used a slightly elevated voice. And I said, what are you doing reading this? And she said, well, where's your book? And wow, my mom really just <laughs> roasted me real fucking hard. What the heck? What, what so book weird. is on a, about another podcast? I don't um, think there are any. Critical Role has a book. <clears throat> yeah, a they have like two. Book. Why does she buy it? 
My mom loves fantasy books. Oh, Any fantasy that, book she will read. Mercedes Lackey, all of those people. She oh, fucking sick. loves that, that shit. That rules. That, that actually. actually rules. Good yeah. for her. <laughs> I said I do support your mom, but now I want a book. Let's make a let's make a West don't. Yeah, Pat, let's make book. a Greetings Adventurers book. Chat, would you buy a Greetings Adventurers source book? For a hundred dollars. For one hundred dollars. <laughs> The problem with doing things like that is they like take work. Yeah, there's, it's a little bit of work. Uh, <laughs> in, we famously struggle to do things. We so. will not play test it at all. No, no. not even a little bit. Yeah. And Michael's the busiest of us, and uh, yeah, and he's that also the feels... DM. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Well, that all sounds great. Should we get into it? Uh, Heck yes. Uh, Pat, do you want to start yeah. us off? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. So the, we're going to go into the world. So the world here, a little bit to know about it, some backstory here, because this is a two shot. So we're going to kind of do some exposition. Um, this world is a world made up of smaller kingdoms instead of one giant. A lot of small kingdoms that sometimes get along, sometimes don't. One thing they all are allied on is... They hate the Scourge. The Scourge sucks. The Scourge is this unknowable horde swarm of undead insectoid monsters that will emerge from a rift in the ground every number, every couple of years, wreak some havoc. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully they get beat back and call it a day. All my homies hate the Scourge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and to combat this threat, there is uh, something called the Order. The Order is the sort of organization of dragon riders they kind of they regulate they kind of regulate it it's very political very bureaucratic and it pairs humans with newborn dragons and they kind of try to maintain a bit of a monopoly on on, on this main continent um there are renegades out there uh some kingdoms they're they're sort of a chapter of the order is a little more friendly than others some are very anti-renegades uh, we, in a just improv moment, kind of on the fly, had decided that your gang, your group, uh, was brought up in a commune that's kind of, well off the beaten path, away from most of these more established kingdoms, and it was founded by a former order dragon rider who didn't mm -hmm. like, who came disillusioned with everything, the the you know, the bureaucracy, the politics, the. Um, the the lack you know the the disingenuousness of it all and the he kind of went off tape to, get in the way yeah. of saving people you know yeah. <laughs> went off to do their own thing and they founded a commune and i didn't name this person so if anyone wants to name tell me anything about this person hester just, crowsworth hester crowsworth love it that's how did you amazing. know that that's <laughs> <laughs> Bachman raises up a piece of paper that says Hester yeah. Crowsworth. I, I'm really sad that you got in so fast because I had a um a hag name generator up and it came up yeah. with the name Ancient Gloria Rodent Hands. That could oh, be that one's Hester's good. Dragon. <laughs> Ancient Gloria Rodent Hands. That could be Hester's Dragon. It's actual rats for hands. <laughs> but you can still movies. pick stuff up because the rats have their little rat hands. They have their own hands. Yeah. The and they just pick it up and it's just like a rat holding whatever it is <laughs> um this is a serious campaign this is so serious guys. unfortunately I, don't how, don't disrespect uh, miss rodent mm -hmm. hands okay and, <laughs> and you all and one thing you all like to do you know you collect your fine dragon eggs that are because another thing is dragons can be very picky and sometimes eggs that aren't perfect in quotes are discarded and neglected yeah. and not cared for so you all have so uh hester had created this commune and was you were all some apprentices some pupils that had bonded with some young dragons you're all kind of at level five and novice level so your dragons are uh they're growing they're they're medium size we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna fudge the rules and say they're just big enough for you to ride on them for short <laughs> yeah. periods of time we're, we're like we're um, like fresh and we're like ready to go yeah, yeah. before yeah. this adventure all of our <clears throat> characters took a quick diet in order to let our because <laughs> Yeah. Instead of like scale mail, we're all wearing uh, yeah. uh trash bags. Had been <laughs> eating nothing <laughs> but <laughs> cut more. Yeah. Nothing but protein shakes and heads of lettuce for six yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. Um, chicken and broccoli. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, one tragic day, you all came back from some training exercises to find your commune largely thrashed and destroyed and, and Hester and his dragon. 
slain. Ancient no! Gloria wrote it. What? Mm-hmm. What happened? We, love a, we, we love a tragic Wait, why do we even folks. bother naming him? <laughs> <laughs> so you have someone do it. You knew I was yeah. going to pack Bond with Hester. <laughs> I'm so sad about him. So you've set off on a quest of vengeance. And yeah, we fucking hate him. In order to... <laughs> There weren't many clues, but one clue you found it indicated. Unfortunately, you're gonna you were gonna have to leave the relative uh, safety and seclusion of where you were living and sail across a small stretch of ocean to the main continent, where these kingdoms of Brennan and Rosalia and Fjordland, these more established kingdoms with very very formal uh, dragon rider factions of the order. Yeah, they got the big are... Walmart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to open and you have chartered passage on a boat called the dauntless barge it's a very very large ship with a lot of deck space to it that has not has transferred dragon riders before in the past so large barge your babies can, <laughs> can large, hang large, out large. on the deck <laughs> okay where are we uh, I think we're about to start. Yeah, <clears throat> you're on. We're we're on the boat, the Dallas oh, yeah. barge. Oh right, you're right. Sailing. Right. Oh you, right, we're talking about large you, barges, large barge. Yeah. <laughs> but what I was saying is, it's like it's like this huge barge, but it's it's kind of comfortable because it's it, it was made to be able to transport a few dragons, uh, cargo. Their whole thing is, we'll, you know, it's almost like their motto: we'll sail any waters. And you're all just kind of. It's a nice day. You're all just kind of hanging out on the deck. There is a a bar. On the deck, mm. um, this kind of grizzled mm. older woman. Her name is Helga Brine. She just yes. is just always wiping down the bar. Never not, never not wiping <laughs> down the bar. Yeah. She has crazy delts because she's just always doing this motion. <laughs> yeah. like, those are those. Uh, the bar is just sparkling. Clean. Yeah. Does she and, switch arms at all, or is it just one? No, big... it's just her left hand. Oh, her yeah. left shoulder is just wow. yoked. Uh, I, I'm curious. I would like to know what kind of drag. First and start. Let's start with the thing people really want to talk about. Yeah. What's the dragon situation on this barge? Are we got some flying overhead, getting some exercise, stretching their wings? Are they Ooh. are they are they cuddled up? Are they just kind of curled up, taking <gasps> mm-hmm. nappies? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, t- Tim, yeah, I'm just going counterclockwise. Tim, okay. tell us tell us about one uh, of the dragons. My yeah. dragon, uh, who is obviously named. Uh, Ciliarxis of the dream uh, doesn't really like people, so it's kind of flying. He's a goth. <laughs> no, he's got he's got somehow he's got hair. He's got bangs. Shut up! <laughs> I don't come into your dragon fictions and fantasies. He's wearing a wallet chain. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he is a lunar dragon, uh-huh. and as you all know, they are very, very, very rare. So. I don't want to deal with any questions. He doesn't really like dealing with all the people. So he's kind of flying towards the back, diving underwater, swimming underwater a little bit, and uh, coming back up. Every now and again, you'll see uh, the the light reflected off her beautiful uh, kind of like deep uh, purplish crystalline scales. Excellent. And... The human that's bonded with Ciliarxis. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, or the person, sorry, the person. Yeah. And, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah uh, uh, I am a human and I'm playing Tygen Brontegar. Uh, basically, take all the worst men from uh, Universe. Uh, uh, shit. Revolutionary Girl Utena. <laughs> and that's more or less what he looks wow. like. Wow. Oh, that's great. He's got like uh, long hair. Yeah, he has long lavender hair. Uh, v- Yowie like chin, daddy. Ya- yeah, Yowie hands. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, the longest hands you've ever seen. He's sitting back, uh, he smelling a rose and um, <laughs> uh, 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 quaffing a uh, a wine that he thought was passable on this large barge. Excellent. Wow. And uh, Jennifer, is there another dragon? S- either napping or hanging yeah. out or so there's another dragon actually kind of like floating off like a little bit like uh, forward where the boat is going but laying back on 
like with its belly and wings out to the sun absorbing <laughs> it um in the water and it's kind of like coppery colored Ooh. but it but with like an undertone of that patina that copper gets so it's like oh, a little yeah. bit of that like teal and coppery and it looks very like zen like mm. just chilling and then when it is time for it to like you know the boat starts to catch up then it does like a very um elegant like kind of roll back and then shoots out of the water to fly <laughs> over and it's like crystalline and you see it on the the side of the boat looking at this dragon with pride in her face is a uh, uh i wish she's, she's humanoid for sure she's human-esque um <laughs> and it, her her skin has a very slight <coughs> like pale green tint to it mm, yeah. and her hair is dark uh and it almost looks like it's got like a little bit of like a turquoise teal situation in the sun um did you say your name i did okay mm -hmm. uh my character's name is penelope meyerfoot and that is my dragon whose name is oberon oberon hell yeah and it's oh and and, and and oberon is a mystic dragon Ooh, right. yes mm -hmm. oberon and penelope have good good brains mm-hmm they do brain stuff good. We are so smart, and we're mm -hmm. so good at fucking up other people's brains. <laughs> That's very scary. More importantly, <laughs> like our, our brains are good, but more importantly, I can make your shit. Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> jokes on you. It already is. <laughs> I can cause good things to happen to your brain, or less good things to happen to your brain. I agree, Dead Chicken. Oberon isn't a very good dragon name. Awesome. Very cool. No one cares about silly Arxis of the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, does silly Arxis have a nickname? Yeah. Nope. The Titan calls, calls it. Silly Arxis of the dream. Yeah. The whole, the said whole I said I couldn't name time. my dragon silly axe. I said you could. I never say no. You know this. I think decorum said you couldn't, but other than that. No. Do not feed my dragon gluten. <laughs> Dragon food. <laughs> I literally wrote originally silly axe, like silly axe. a weapon that is goofy. Uh, Nika, what is the third dragon we see about um, the boat? The third dragon is laying over in a shadowy corner and has <clears throat> just a pile of gold underneath them. <laughs> and it's this lady dragon, and she's laying on it. And she's a black dragon, but she kind of like has this like almost pinstriping on her scales. Oh, cool. Um, it looks pretty neat. Um, she's a storm dragon and she's sitting there and she's just kind of like touching all of the gold yeah, you got and to. like making sure she's got it all. <laughs> um, her name is Susan. And oh, yeah. then my character would be the opposite side of the boat, like looking, they both have vantage points, mm. making sure that our backs are covered. We know where the entrance and exits are. Um, and my character is uh, wearing not like a kind of like <clears throat> a suit, but like tight fitting for all of it so it's like mm. a riding jumpsuit but it looks oh, gotcha. like a suit yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um her name is Nahareen nazdar navarone and yeah. she has just um black black hair she looks like humanoid and she's just standing there um looking at the dragon looking at everyone else and they're just smoking both her and the <laughs> And they smoke in in tune with each other. <laughs> That's excellent. And uh, rounding out this menagerie, Bachman. Uh, in off to the side, there's a table covered in treats like steamed buns. And oh yeah, just all sorts of, of like all sorts, of, and just chowing down. There's both a dragon and a young and a young adolescent boy. Uh, <laughs> The dragon is a uh, the dragon is is an emerald dragon, um, but with like a sick mask over like the like a gold mask like over the top of his head. Oh hell yeah! Um, oh hell yeah! He's oh, got armor. He's got like his wings 
but also like a second set of like decorative wings that look really badass. Oh, sick! Like sticking mm-hmm. out of the middle of them. Um, the uh, the adolescent uh, the adolescent youth is uh, uh, big gloves, big shoes, goggles, <laughs> big hair. Uh, the I've been watching a lot of Digimon. My dragon. <laughs> My, yes. t- my dragon's name is Terramon, based off of Terragon, which in sweet that plant in Swedish and Dutch is sometimes called dragon. Oh my god! Uh, my character's name is Chizumi Kusaki. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I I love you. We're we, I I. It's funny that you say that because I was about to be like we're really like an this is like an anime crew that's going on <laughs> yeah. right now. I mean, it's very again. I don't know the backgrounds before you found this commune, but you were taken. You know, at some point you were taken in, and you were all being mentored mm-hmm. by the same by the same person, the great the late I, great Hester. Can I step back for one moment, Tim? Did you describe what your character was wearing? Uh, no, I didn't either. So I want to know because I because we got to hear Nika and Bachman's and I like yeah yeah that I mean. Knowledge. Mine, you really have to watch Revolutionary Girl Utena to understand, <laughs> and I don't. And maybe I did that to give you homework. I don't know. Uh, basically, he's uh, li- like anywhere between six feet and seven feet tall, depending on who's standing next to him. Because Utena is like five three, but sometimes these dudes look like fifteen feet taller than her. Um, and uh, uh, he has on what you mo- probably consider like a dress military. Uh, outfit mm. with a, uh, a a nicely patterned breastplate on it, um, and uh, like thick uh, dark black riding boots. Uh, <coughs> lots of light colors, purples and teals and uh, uh, filigree throughout. He looks like a very fancy man, and again, exactly like the worst men on the planet <laughs> in Revolutionary. <laughs> one of them. Guys, you, take your pick I, of the worst. Watch men. Revolutionary. So they're they are so bad. They're they're what? terrible boys, but I, we love them. Uh, I'm not terrible. What a gang! So we've got. Um, and then, sorry, and I, I don't think I said what I was wearing. You mentioned uh, your beautiful, colorful hair. Yeah, I mentioned my hair. Go. Penelope is wearing like what you would expect. Like this is like almost like a costume outfit in that it's very like diaphanous and flowing and like kind of yeah. like off the shoulder, and she's got little like like star like pins to keep her hair back and it's like very flowing and Hell yeah. um yeah yeah i love this so much so you've got super tall stuffy military looking dude you've got yeah. flowing elegant yeah. colorful yeah. penelope you've got the epitome of the phrase noir with yes. Naharine, the all black <laughs> and the cigarette and then you've got uh scrappy adventure boy yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> of all the big barges in all the big world, you had to barge on my large barge. <laughs> Gotta like you. Uh, so has anyone um so you mentioned what you were doing. <laughs> yep. Cheese and me's eating. Uh Penelope's just chilling. Yeah. Tigan, uh, are you and I know Naharine, you're off to the side smoking. Are you, are you intentionally looking like you're not interested in having a conversation with anyone? No, I think I'm probably talking to someone who's obviously to everyone else bored by mm-hmm. me describing um, just how the food in the commune doesn't stack up to where we're going. Mm-hmm. Um, you just can't get the same type of grapes out there. You you understand, certainly. My, my uncle, well, <laughs> my uncle's uncle has a winery in the foothills that the grapes, you can just peel off if you just rub it give me your finger real quick <laughs> um i'm gonna say at the bar and it, 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 the she holds up an incredibly pretty finger because she's been holding a damp rag and wiping for just hours and hours yeah <laughs> lovely yeah. perhaps give me your other hand this one is uh bardo clad to me all right she has a she 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 lets go of the draft the tap she just holds this she, her hand kind of like almost creaks it's like she just never lets go of the, the tap <laughs> well, I mean, you know? dust falls off <laughs> yeah. uh i i uh like you can peel a grape as easy as this and i just place a tender kiss <laughs> on the most sensitive part of her palm are you uh you getting fresh with me young man i, I lean back and i 
kick my impossibly non-Euclidean long yaoi boy legs <laughs> on the bar. Uh, like, depends. Are you enjoying the freshness? <laughs> I mean, it, it's been a minute, but I could, I could maybe throw you around the cabin for an hour or two. Mm. Um, well, be off at four a.m. <laughs> I'll be asleep, but uh, <laughs> knock three times on my cabin, and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I should go. It's good I, to I yuck should... it up with the commoners from now yeah. and again. I mean. It would say like 4 30 i'll take 30, 30 minutes i will to, be asleep to, to you stretch can tell me. i'm gonna stretch because i get limber because i'm gonna be pretty stiff tell you what um i can i get yeah. a rain check maybe uh a little nervous you got i've got a big day tomorrow yeah. you know how it is i do it's I, I, i'm an intimidating i understand no you're beautiful you men have you're beautiful. always been intimidated by me you came uh, on pretty strong i think yeah. and it, it was really unattractive to me but uh <laughs> You're great. You're great. I thought you said this wasn't a bad boy. <laughs> Who's it? Well, not like the lieutenant bad boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I didn't smack her. I, I think yeah, we true. established you as the one getting fresh with me, but okay then. Sure, You've sure. been getting fresh and then you know, falling off the damn cart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways, more wine. More wine what? And I snap my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I get it. You got Big Dragon. What do we say? Please. Mm -hmm. She reaches out to like tickle your chin. I hope she can breathe. She <laughs> might not be able to. <laughs> and then she starts pour. Yeah. And then she pours. Uh, a, it's just this like super strong, very bold, dry red wine. That's just like you can almost chew it. It's just so oh, intense. Uh, Chunky wine. <laughs> I uh, put my glass or I leave my glass there on the bar. I give her a wink and I take the bottle and <laughs> and I oh walk God. on over uh, to uh, Chisumi. Ooh, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, huh? <laughs> Oi, am I right? <laughs> this both both Chisumi and Bachman didn't understand what you said two times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I walked over to you with a bottle of wine and I go, "Oi, am I right?" <laughs> I can't drink that stuff. I only eat steamed buns. Isn't that right, Terramon? <laughs> That's right, Shizumi. Rum, 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 rum. <laughs> okay. Can I have... I'll have what you're having. <laughs> you can have this little one here. That's right. Reaches out, impossibly long fingers. <laughs> Terramon snaps, slaps your hand away. It's a small bun. You, I, I smack him on the nose and say, "Don't do that. Mean, rude, not nice." Um, Off to the side, I'm saying the captain is like looking at a tally and and watching that Cheezamon is, is eating. She's <laughs> eating and like just like almost. She's almost in tears. She's just like. Fuck. <laughs> I knew that all you could eat option was a mistake. The, well, the thing is, like, since we, um, oh, what, what's the name of that the, that ability where we share our senses? A bond. The, oh yeah. The, the bond. Yeah. So we so we share like we 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 see here and feel the same things. If one of us gets hungry, both of us gets hungry. If okay. one of us has to pee, both of us has to pee. Okay. We go. We works. go. We go to the bathroom and actually like. Like, I, I, if, if say, say Terramon has to pee, that doesn't magically, like, make pee in Shizumi. That'd be weird. But, no. like, <laughs> but we, like. we, we both mean, get there not knowing who actually yeah. has to go. And Which it's what? a kind, right. kind of... It's, I was making it more towards, like, sight, smell, taste, hearing, touch. Like... No, the six senses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, said, and piss. You, don't, you don't share a bladder. <laughs> the sex um, is We don't fish. share a bladder, <laughs> but we, but we feel different. it. That's definitely, like, touch. It's internal. But yeah. you, yes, yeah. crazy C two seventy three. If if one is horny, they both are horny. Yeah. Well, then that yes. counts for P. But I'm a boy, so I'm like what? a little boy, so I'm not horny yet. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not horny. I'm little... Mika, you know someone isolate you. that box. I'm a little boy audio. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so you have been at C for a few days now. And it has been an incredibly pleasant, lovely, uneventful 
trip. However, there is a tension in the crew that started to kind of befall them and, and the captain, because this is why you booked this particular ship. It wasn't the only ship making the journey from where you were to where you're going. However, the route it was taking was a particular interest to you because it was uh, off the beaten path. It wasn't the more traveled, frequented um, passages and currents that ships take to cross the sea. Um, it is going through, it is going a route that honestly, almost no ships are willing to take. And that's precisely why you booked passage on this. Mm. And it is partly because of this, this next stretch you're about to enter. And cause it's about to enter a place, uh, uh, uh straight a straight, you know, it's like a more of a narrow passage of sea between two rocky land masses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it has a the straight has a, a, a very cheeky fun name that has been given by you know the sailing community. Um they call it Sailor's Tomb. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, you're like, mm-hmm. And you know, just a little bit of fun. Let's like, mm-hmm. spice things up. And- I say to um uh Chisumi I wonder if we'll hear the song in the sailor's tune. I wonder if it's like a little ditty, maybe the wind playing off the mountains. Uh, the the song. What do you mean, sailor's tune? Like humming a tune. I'm sh- oh. sure it's lovely. <laughs> Tegan. Yeah, I, so I love silly. I love music. Isn't that right, Terramon? Yeah, you love music. <laughs> Penelope has kind of floated over at this point and uh, is like, oh, Tegan, you're so silly. I, you know it's tomb, right? No, what? No, I wouldn't no. go on a boat somewhere with a tomb. Gross. Oh, well, it's where we're all going to die. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No, Harine's just like up behind, like right <laughs> behind Chizumi. <laughs> well, is it ironic? Like when you call a small dog Goliath? I think it's pretty sincere from what I understand. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you, you have a dragon. We all have dragons. <laughs> Me worried? I never in a thousand years would be worried. I say gesticulating, spilling wine everywhere on all the buns. <laughs> He's sweating. <laughs> Slorp. His upper lip. Well, uh, if we're going into some straight danger, we have to have a toast. And I hand the bottle to Naharin. Well. Tall drink of water okay. for a tall drink of water. Are you hitting on me? I don't I even think know he's anymore. trying to trade. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, your cup is empty. My cup is full. I'm not giving you anything. But I will say this. Let us all drink to potentially dying together this might be our last night we Mm. might die in the morning who knows um may our pockets be lined with gold mine at least because i'm gonna uh fleece you in the night uh may our tummies be full of good sliced meats and uh may our dragons feast upon our dead bodies before that of our enemies can take and defile defile us and if we should perish, then may we become stars in the great celestial sky together. Mm. Same. Ditto. And more <laughs> steam buns! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, um, we're going to kind of, we're going to kind of like fade out a little bit and fade back in as you're entering the straight. It's 4.30 a.m. And... <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> it is very apparent, very quick why this straight got its nickname because there are there is debris from broken scattered sunken scuttled ships just like littering the rocks on the side you see like like the uh, pieces of a mast and sail kind of wedged between two rocks off to the side here you see like the prow that's like broke that's the front part kind of broken off with the the pointy bit out the front. Um, just kind <laughs> you, of know, like, you know, you know. <laughs> I try to do some homework on this, uh, but there's so many terms. There's like an aft. And, yeah, <laughs> there's, an, there's an aft here. There's, there's a, a lot of boat words. There's a port over there. Yeah, I know anything about a ship. So anchor. The- anchor. <laughs> I know what I do. I know what that is. Hog's mouth. Right? There's a helm. But uh, you you see, basically, it is it is just 
there is every 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 not you know every so often you see debris wooden debris of ships that have something has happened they've been crashed that being said uh the captain and the crew are very seasoned sailors they all a lot of them have military training backgrounds and they claim they've they have sailed this past successfully before and that's why they were willing to do it and they get paid handsomely to do that as well but you see it uh, really well and you come so it's a very narrow and then it kind of gets wide and it's gonna get narrow again you're kind of in the wider part now and you actually see uh what looks like ships kind of sticking out of the water it's kind of like they sunk partially it's not that deep here um a little bit sticking out here and there the problem comes from mm-hmm. you see uh one ship that's kind of like torn in half but the half one half of it's kind of still floating it's kind of bobbing and it's kind of just kind of drifting mm-hmm. along uh and can everyone make me perception checks please i would love to yeah and if you have questions i know because we're, we're kind of this is a lot of custom here and i sent yeah. you some cheat sheets i have all your all your stuff i can Did we use like a d30 <laughs> yep exactly mm-hmm. i'm kidding I got, um a three okay oh that's a bad roll i got a roll. <laughs> Um, what a great roll. I got a 19. That's a great roll. <laughs> all right. All right. Slow down, fuckers. I got an 11. <laughs> yeah. That's two ones. Penelope, you, you're just kind of, you're just kind of hanging out. Or say it's kind of early morning, sub through the night uneventful after, after the wonderful, eloquent, heartfelt toast you had, you shared yesterday. Yes. And it's kind of a mist, a haze. And you, you swear, you, 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 you might be going crazy, but you swear you see a little bit of movement on this half ship that's kind of just drifting of like figures, like silhouettes mm. kind of moving, shambling about on that. Um, does anyone else see what I'm seeing on this boat over here? No. Um, well, I am seeing, and I think that there are beings over there. Some sort of a creature. <laughs> you want us to go whack them or? I mean, maybe we should talk to the captain to to see if that's normal. I mean, or I guess maybe they know. rescue them. Or the, or that. I honestly, I was <laughs> mostly worrying about our own safety, but yes, we should rescue them. Yes, I'm. Sh- I'm. Sh- they're fine, though. Probably right, because we're on a deadline. You see, make haste. <laughs> um. Uh, while I have this talk, the captain, she actually just kind of comes up next to you and she's a very like statuesque put together, um, sh- just real tough as nails looking. Her name's uh, Helena Stride. And she says, we'll be steering clear of that. Don't worry. And as the words leave her mouth, I need everyone to make me a dexterity saving throw because oh, something slams into your barge from the bottom and the whole thing lurches slightly. Of course. Eight. 15. Nice roll. Mm-hmm. I got an 11. Is this an effect that I could see while not blinded, deafened? Or... <laughs> no. Is this applicable for that? Okay, damn. I got a 7. <laughs> okay. Anyone who did not beat a 10, who did not get an 11 or higher, falls prone. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> okay. And. And then the ship immediately starts like shaking and vibrating, and there's just this like thump, thump, thump reverberating from the bottom. It's the tune. It's the tune. I told you. <laughs> it's, 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 it's okay. Tune. Uh, we're both laying on the ground. I assume beside each other, and we're like dazed. And I'm heat. like correcting you. Yes, I'm correcting you. It's tune. Get off. I me. would put my arm down to help you just one arm to help you both up and then just say you know maybe it is tuned maybe we had it wrong the whole time maybe this Mm -hmm. guy's right Mm -hmm. (laughs) we both grab your arm at the same time to get up (laughs) while this is happening the the half ship is like drifting closer and closer to the barge and it's getting pretty closer and there's still mist but you can definitely see humanoid figures kind of shambling about on there and thump thump uh pat i would like to use powers in the powers for which I would like to do uh-huh. is um one second. Shut up one second. Shut up one second. No, you do it, Tim. You, you, you shut up. Showcase this cool thing, this cool Kickstarter. This cool I would block. like 
to uh, cast uh, light <laughs> <Woo -hoo>! mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, on uh, Syriax is or whatever. You, um, you don't even know your own dragon's name? I've kept changing it. <laughs> silly, silly axis, right? I just keep saying silly axis. Yeah. Silly axis. Silly axis. Silly axis. I would like to cast uh, light on Silly Arxis's snoot, snoot and have them... Just a big spotlight? Yeah, big spotlight, gotcha. Rudolph style, Perfect. shine some light on this night so bright. Yeah, <laughs> at, 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 the, the, at the half ship. Yeah, uh, yeah. this bright, beautiful white light. It's light like, him up, Sil. It's like if the moon was in the spotlight, just emits from your dragon snoot and bathes the deck of the ship in light and yeah you see it is very plain to all of you this ship there is a bunch of what is commonly referred to as ghouls they are humans that have been killed oh. by scourge of the blight and have reanimated and they are ghouls and it said that their ship kind of bumps into the front of the barge and the ghouls start shambling towards where it's like and it's like the the the, the sharp bits of the splintered wood have kind of like stuck and wedged a little bit into your barge and they're walking towards, it's not an easy crot to see if they can, they, they've kind of, they kind of stumbled, some fell and they're kind of moving towards the barge. Um, and all this while again, thump, thump, thump reverberating through the ship. T T Terramon says, Watch out! Those are dark human. <laughs> they, they travel in packs, and if they get too close, you can get overwhelmed. Um, why don't we go ahead and jump it? Let's do um, the so, so seeing this and with the light, the captain sh uh, shouts and starts bellowing orders and is screaming to arms, to arms, to arms, and the sailors are. Some are rushing toward with long sort of harpoons to maybe try and push off the the broken part of the ship, or maybe sh you know some push off these ghouls but prevent them from climbing aboard. Some mm -hmm. push off the ship, um, and again this whole thumping and the captain's yelling, "Someone find out where that damn what that damn thumping noise is!" And people are running around to and fro. Sounds like a Skrillex concert down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go make sure that there's nothing. Uh... The needs taken care of. Uh, Susan, let's go. <laughs> Your dragon's name is Susan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are they are they trying to climb on the boat right now? Is They're trying they're... to like shamble toward yeah. And there's a few sailors that are trying to like prod them back, mm -hmm. but more and more are kind of appearing on the deck of this broken ship. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Chizumi says says Terramon, go, and he and he goes overgrowth. He wants to put vines on the side of the ship to make it harder for them to climb on. Love it. You do uh, it. So, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, sprouting out of the wood itself, this huge clutch of tendrils and vines just appears miraculous, and it makes it – they're now they're, – a bunch of them are tangled up in it. They were up front. Some are trying to go over them. It's a whole cluster. Uh, before anyone does anything else, you hear a scream from off to the, the, the starboard, hey – we're using terms oh, here, the starboard yeah. side of the ship. <laughs> and you look over just in time to see uh, a, a, one of the sailors get pulled all over the edge into the railing and then climbing over the side. You Wilhelm see, scream. Uh, yeah, d insert that here. That'd be yeah. great. And <laughs> then um, you see a ghoul. It looks like a ghoul, but there's something a little off about them. Their features are a little more, I don't know, kind of sharp in mm. their face and they're kind of a rot, half rotted face. And then they climb and they don't like sit. They kind of like slither onto the deck. It's a undead mer person. Oh! <laughs> Let's roll initiative. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Do I have to kill them? <laughs> <laughs> I went to join them. They just have skin like off half their face and just jaw exposed and just kind of it's slaver. Uh, Tegan got a 14. Okay. I got a 16. When you say I that, also... oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say I got the same thing. So go ahead. When when you say that they're like uh, big enough that you can ride for short periods of time, what do you consider to be a short period of time? Combat. This combat would be okay. fine. Yeah. But you Fair. can like go across the sea with them. Yeah, yes, perfect. Exactly. 16 mm -hmm. weeks. Um, I I got a 13 initiative. Okay. 
Uh, did I get uh, Nika? What'd you roll? Sorry. I got a sixteen also. Okay. Uh, I'll let you on the side. And oh, they rolled what? You can go. That's trash. Bachman. That's trash. Uh, okay. So yeah, whichever one of you that rolled a sixteen wants to go first. Uh, I, 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 as you do this, um, I would say another another mer person, undead mer person, also crawls over further down towards the front, climbs up over the side. Can do you... we do we know th- that much about these creatures that are affected by the scourge? Like, yes, you would generally... you would know. I think Hester would have taught you like the scourge. It is as far as you know. It, it basically is you know two things. It's these giant insectoid monsters. But then they carry the blight, and the blight if that Got infects it. if that infects a thing, it can reanimate dead animals, um, okay. dead creatures, and they somehow are controlled then by like the scourge hive mind at that point, okay. and they basically seek out other living things to kill, consume, turn, um, infect with the blight. So you can, you know, you take the wrong kind of damage or the wrong type of attack from these things, you can catch the blight. Got it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, quick. I mean, they have a whole in the book. There's a whole like table mechanic on how that works. There's different levels of blight, kind of like exhaustion. And, mm. Oh, cool. Um, that's cool. You can die from it though. <laughs> you can. <laughs> uh, so, uh, is it Bachman was going to go first? Yeah. Can All you right. explain to me again how, um, mm-hmm. like how the dragon stuff works with like like actions and like you know like I've got yeah. So uh, the, the the dragon and the human take their turn as one unit. So you still have your full movement and you can divide that between the two as far as the feet, the 30 feet. Um, you can take one action between the two of you, one bonus action and one reaction. Okay, sick. Uh... So the human, the, your, your rider has more, more spells they can draw on. But if you do that too much, your bond between the dragon starts to fray. Right, because you only have so many like, Correct. points for mm-hmm. that, basically. Yeah. The, are you talking about the EP? Correct, it's the EP. Okay, because most of my stuff is like... Oh, okay, I'm seeing the stuff that actually costs EP now. Gotcha. Um... Uh, so I would hop, uh, I'd hop on... Uh, Ch- Chizumi hops on Terramon's shoulder. They would fly up, and then... Uh, I would use uh, my bonus action uh, to uh, to use flame blade. Uh, give me a give me a fiery sword and <clears throat> Terabon. You said you said there's just the one mer person, right? There's you, there's two have climbed over so far. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Ter- and Terabon would use poison spore. And then shoot a poison spore down on on one of them. Doesn't matter which one at this point. Sure. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Range power attack. What what does that mean? Uh, Just do, um, for again, ease of use, do a plus six to hit. Roll a d20, a plus six. Uh, 16. You hit. Great roll. Sick. Uh... So if you do it at a zero EP cost, like, like a cantrip essentially, oh, right, it's one D four. If you want to burn an EP for every one EP, if you want to burn, you can add a D four of damage to that. Sure. Or you can do a zero. No, we'll, and... we'll, we'll burn an EP. Um, do I? Um, if I if I run out of EP and I can't do like, does that affect the bond? Yeah. If your EP uh, drops to zero. The bond is broken. There's no magical connection, and actually, like your human rider can pass out and go unconscious. Okay, but I won't feel like I got to piss every five seconds. No. <laughs> <laughs> you might like it. I, you will. You will soil yourself initially, and then you won't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Worth it, honestly. Um, this dragon's got an overactive bladder. He says I have the overactive bladder. It's there's a debate. <laughs> They're all uh, fighting about poison it. Poison is shooting at the mer zombie. Uh, six damage. Okay. Yeah. So you um, t- 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 where's the flavor for here? I wanna, I wanna talk this up. Uh, you just this this green spore bursts forth from Terramon's toothy maw, blasts down and just um 
you see like these like veins of green kind of like light up all down the undead merfolk and they kind of snarl <laughs> and uh it takes uh six damage and it's actually pretty fucked up and you uh, i'm gonna say one of its arms like melts off from it sick so it's kind of crawling it's fish tail swag and it's kind of one arm crawling forward toward Yuck. whatever person it could find just kind of like ha oh, just like rotting away as it does um Nahareen. Uh, not or, 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 I'm sorry, Bachman. Do you like was that? Uh, te- really? ter- Teramon says something about how my how my love gives him strength or something like that. And then he, <laughs> of course, Aww, yeah. your, your so friendship, sweet. Yeah. the power of it. I'm nothing sorry. like a Pokemon. I agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> what does what does Naharin do in the face of these undead horrors? Um, I don't I think it's very nice to call them that. <laughs> um, the Naharin would like to take out their javelin of lightning, and I want to javelin someone. Susan's yeah. putting in the um, the money in her dragon pockets. Mm-hmm. She has extra dragon pockets so that we can <laughs> then go. Once these are taken care of, then we can check out. And is the pounding still going on? Does it? Sound? It is definitely. Yep, just steady thump thump. Them. okay i'm going to do um hit one of the guys because i have a uh, range thrown so mm-hmm. i can throw it yeah um does that does it come back yeah I have another uh, one? no it, it, it comes back it like okay. magically comes back yeah <clears throat> okay i will do that on whichever one is closest to me okay. i think that's going to be the one that uh Terramon poison spored so you're gonna try and finish it off. I rolled in that one. Oh, do that. that so throw so it. Dumb. It kind of sails over the railing, but then it goes to a certain point and kind of disappears, and then it rematerializes on your back. It's <sighs> gone forever because you rolled in that one. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, I, I the, Susan walks closer to me, so we're close to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think uh that is all of my uh, options okay i could go into a rage but if do i need to can i ride her while if you want to hop on yeah if you want to hop on it's fine okay i will hop on the dragon so then okay okay um another mer undead mer person crawls over from the left side of the Uh ship now so there's two over here one over here thumping is still going on and it's tygen's turn Okay, um, he's holding a flower and smirking, and then other music starts going. Zatai ume moko shiroku, and the bartender. People don't watch Nintendo will love that. Oh, yeah, they're fucking rolling over. And the uh, bartender I was talking to before falls into my arms <laughs> and like uh, leans back as a uh, a shining long sword. <laughs> Uh, materializes from her chest and uh, it's a very magical girl situation as my armor gets brighter and I I rush at them and like feel my blade and I want to go <laughs> to the the pack of ghouls who are being um, held back by the vines I want to like try okay. to stab them through the vines to make sure they don't yeah. come out what now- type of um sword does your character use it's a it's a great sword it's like a oh. it's kind of like um what's his nuts uses in castlevania it looks like a rapier but it's like very very long yeah. okay that's Heck yes okay. so it's like two-handed what is that's- his nuts <laughs> his name uh, you, see, you see his nuts i think yeah. <laughs> uh Him. I forgot if we were on. Yeah, this is we're off, but I love this because this is very quintessential rider blade. The riders in this world often will have the because they have enhanced strength and abilities with their bond, so they wield these crazy, uh, huge ornate swords that are yeah. often shaped like their power. You know, like a lightning bolt if they're a storm tag, and the, but they are like Final Fantasy Buster Sword level big. They're just Hell these yeah. big honking things, and yeah, so you can easily run up. Uh, make make a make an attack make a uh, make an attack. Uh, I, I call me Naharim because I rolled a natural one. No! Oh, 
but uh, you're I just have... overexcited. You come in you're swinging hot. You you definitely give the uh, I'm gonna say the the vines. They look nice. Mm-hmm. You kind of did a little topiary work on them. They look more <laughs> symmetrical and like yeah. they look good. They look good. Yeah. You kind of trimmed them up a little bit. Uh, you I did not do. hit any ghouls though. Okay, I'll use my second attack to slash in there. That's much better. That is a twenty-four. All right, you hit one. How much? What do you? How much damage? You just. I'm going. To... You were just. You were just clearing your line of sight. You know. For the, for, yeah, yeah, he meant to do. Yeah, that. there's no way to get to him without making a yeah. topiary. Um, going to roll these two d6s, and that is um, ten, uh, 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 eleven damage. Mm-hmm. Yes. You freaking you hit this thing like I'm gonna say it's like jaw like right at its jawline and cut like the top like three fourths of its head off and it oh, like, drops. You just drop one. Okay, he's down. He's down. Hell yeah. yeah. And um, give me one second. Oh, Pat, very important. You know that you said that character's dead. I'm just gonna roll again. I actually do a lot more damage. Okay. I gotta have a feature. <laughs> it's super important. I it's did good to that. know. So it gets like just like mashed into a jelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually more damage than you thought, actually. Um, and I believe that's my turn. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, just the there's like the light shining down uh, on me, light kind of like moonlight coming off my sword uh, wow. as I kind of like pull it back to my chest and ready my next attack. Nice. So cool. As again. Uh, um, uh, she's flying up above, shining the the moonlight down on them. Nice, um, and they don't like it, by the way. Oh yeah, they, they don't, don't like it. They, they seem to man. recoil. They seem to be like kind of like recoiling mm. a little bit from it and trying to avoid it if they can't help it. They don't like. They don't like moon. They don't. They don't like this kind of moonlight. Yeah. These things. Okay. Um, Penelope, you've got um, uh, three undead merfolk crawled over one's pretty fucked up looking you have a, th- a mysterious thumping coming from deep below you know in somewhere in the ship you've got a, a gang of these undead humanoid human ghouls that are kind of being held at bay by uh Tigan and vines and some sailors with pole arms i would like to I would like to go for one of the merfolk, uh, the the undead merfolk. Yep. Are, let's say the one that's already injured. Okay. Deal. It's missing an arm. It's yeah. going real slow. It's trying to like, again, it's it's almost kind <laughs> yeah. of sad, but creepy. Just kind or maybe of, I should get maybe I should do the other one then, since that one's like kind of like incapacitated a little bit. Does that yeah. make sense? Legally, yeah. no. But you do what you want. I want to get the other one. I've decided because mm. I just feel like if it's just like crawling along, that's less of a problem. Yeah, and we should say we are level five. We're level five, and yes. we're doing kind of a, a, a fusion of the uh, the uh, 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 chaos rules. That's what I call them, um, and uh, SRD five V, and you will be able to see what they look like when they're finally finished on the Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Uh, I almost said Celine. <laughs> Just in, who's that? Um, Scott Derringer <laughs> swings in. Penelope <laughs> um, kind of like floats forward, and there's it's like the wind is like rustling her hair and like making her dress Bella behind her, and she reaches out a hand <laughs> very um, elegantly, and I would like to cast Psychic Bolt on the the more uh, powerful mer creature all right um and that is bu, 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 bu. It says, so it says make a ranged power attack so it's yeah, like a spell plus attack six. yeah okay. plus six. yeah stupid yeah plus six. Plus six. they're not trying yeah. to get sued even though you're like, oh i see <laughs> i got it there is again for the purposes of what we're doing here i i'm, I'm keeping the essence of it some of the yeah. things i kind of like because there's a lot of decisions to make so i'm kind of like right there's but there's a really cool mechanic in there where you build out everything from scratch as far as your your hit points and mm. your power and all these different dice that you use. It's really cool and honestly very intuitive. But I'm trying to make it easy on y'all because we're picking this up kind of it's, as yeah. we go. Like, and we're desperately stupid. We're I, so- I'm I'm personally famously good at picking up new rule sets. Yes, <laughs> saying what yeah, I know. So you weirdly I are. didn't I need it, but for the rest it. of mm-hmm. <laughs> but you're you're really good at like zooming in on like the very specific things. And I'm, I want to give you your flowers for that. Um, oh, thank you. I rolled very well. Uh, I got a 22. Oh. For a okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And on a hit, 
The target takes, I'm assuming that's a hit. Yep. Uh, 1d6 psychic damage. Yep. <gasps> oh, I rolled a six. Let's there you go. go. So, oh yeah, so let's say it's like, uh, you see like a kind of like sickeningly, like ghostly, like pale blue, like light go mm-hmm. out. And it's actually like shockingly, like you think like a bolt is like fast, but it's not, it's not really fast. It just is like, oh, it's going. Like, mm. there's nothing that could stop this. It's like, wah, wah, wah. and then it, yeah. like, goes inside of his ears, actually. Ooh. Um, and, like, it all into all of his orifices. Like, into, like, its nose and mouth oh. and ears. And it's like, wah. It does, like, and you were, were you attacking another one, you said? Uh, yeah, the one, the, not the one that was dragging itself, but the other one. Okay. There were, were there two on that side? One that had not been hit yet? Yes, yep. That, that's mm-hmm. the one I, I hit. Okay. You do, and it just, like, goes through it. It doesn't like it. It's just kind of... It kind of convulsive. It does not like it at yeah. all. Um, the um, the one the one one armed merfolk tries to get closer. Doesn't quite make it. The one that Penelope hits. Uh, how close did you get to that one, Penelope? When you were that? So let me double check. Uh, Thirty feet away. <laughs> okay. Uh, it does not. It tries to crawl towards you. It doesn't quite make it. Uh, there is another one that on the left side oh, it crawls up and you see it uh start <laughs> try to bite the ankle of a sailor and the sailor's ah! prying it off it couldn't make quite make it to you all um suddenly we're at the top of the round but suddenly the uh captain she's kind of there in the midst of you all and she's soaking wet she's just <laughs> soaking wet and her What's weird is like her neck, like the veins in her neck are like glowing kind of blue and stuff. Okay. And she's breathing heavy and she's holding, she holds, she holds like, she like unrolls like this leather and there's like all these vials of dark blue substance. And she's breathing heavy. She goes, fucking found out what it is. Well, I was just getting ready to go down there. You give me like another 30 seconds. The problem would have been taken care of. <laughs> well, we stop can... talking and Baja blast him. I need you all. <laughs> To drink these and get down there, it'll let you breathe under the water for one hour. It's a big fucking undead crab. Uh, like fucking big. Ship? Like I... fucking big. Underneath the ship. Someone... Trying to punch true with his big <gasps> its big claws. Oh. We can handle these these ghoul fuckers. We've seen them before. We'll handle them. I need uh, you, okay. dragon riders, you get down there. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to deal with a 20 fuck fucking undead crab. You bring me some old bay, some sausage, and some potatoes, and we're gonna have a cookout. I got your dinner right down there. Let's go, guys. I'm from Maryland. <laughs> this thing stands not a chance. <laughs> Man, I want some crab cakes. Fuck it. I don't know what this is. Glug glug glug. Do I or do I shoot it to my? El- I you drink it. Say that right. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, take drink, my shoe no, off. Is this a suppository? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Can the last be? activation I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, one, one um, it. so if you take it yeah it's it's just it's a portion of what unless you breathe underwater for the next hour and anyone Good. who wants to um with their dragon or themselves go off the side you know go down the boat but uh it is choose a turn does that mean that the dragon can also breathe uh i'm gonna say in your case yes hell yeah. <laughs> well yeah. well well if it's just what they what they feel then the dragon it feels feel like, like it's breathing. breathing. <laughs> and then he's got a dragons breathe. can it hold their like breath for a very long time, we'll say. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, w- I think that makes sense, though. Yeah. Okay. I okay. mean, they have enough lung power to I, shoot out lightning bolts and fire and stuff like that. I they have the ability for... to get my dragon fish skills, but we'll go with that. No. So I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you ask? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, let's. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll swoop down there. Uh, but well, I guess if I, we both go down there, then we can only go. We split the movement, right? Well, if you're, you can, you can kind of cheat that if you're, if you're on him. Hell yeah, I am on him. <laughs> yeah. And yep, and uh, we go down there. Uh, do we see a big crab? You see a big. You're under the water. It's kind of dark and murky, but you can still see. It's a big fucking twenty foot crab, and it is like, but it's like its shell is like giant enemy like, crab. It's, its shell is like. There's like holes in its shell and it's kind of rot. It's got like Ew. it just looks like rot on it. It's undead. It's small, yeah. Like when you when you go to the beach and you just like see the like corpse of a crab on the beach yeah. and it's all fucked up looking. And there's another crab eating it. Oh yeah. damn. Oh uh, yeah. Circle of life, I know you so said I know you said giant the words giant crab, but is this crab medium or smaller? 
<laughs> you got a, well, a giant crab could be anywhere as big as I mean, a, like, a kiddie pool. Yeah, yeah. Rel- and Pat relative, said he would give us anything. If you give us anything, <laughs> you're, it's... you're like the aunt, or like the aunt and uncle slash the grandparents that are like hanging yeah. out with us, and we're being like awful. It's, it's more, more... Like substitute teacher, but yeah, 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 or that, or that. Pat, it's more fun for me if you say yes right now. Uh, <laughs> No, yeah. no, no. It's uh, wider path, not smaller crab. <laughs> oh wait, he does want it smaller. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's my? Uh, I lost my character sheet. What tab is it on? I don't dare open another tab. I'm gonna freeze again. Here, I, what are you? What are you looking for? Uh, cutting. Um, because I got that fire. I got that flame. Does the flame blade work underwater? Probably not, huh? It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. Magic flame. And we have these magical swords, right? You've spent, Mm -hmm. we didn't do it on air, but we spent six hours crafting (laughs) these glorious ones using Mm -hmm. the Songs of Chaos. We Um, actually crafted them also in real life. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to roll a physical dice uh, 10,000 times for the 10,000 times the steel is folded over. Wow. Just one roll in every roll. See if you succeed on the fold. Yeah, I cut my pinky off. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, purpose or i had to test it it tasted blade i can't draw it without without blood, uh, blood. Wait, oh damn okay all right um so yeah i'm gonna attack with my flame blade the um uh terra model sw- will swoop underneath and then me just so it looks that... so cool because the dragon's like swimming it's like the the wings are like pushed back you know yeah. it's just like cuts yeah. through the water you kind of like what do like a kind of like a swim by and just kind of yeah just kind of hold the blade up and it's yeah gonna, it's gonna do an oh, attack yeah. uh let's see oh my god oh my god it's dead uh you killed it i killed it <laughs> don't oh don't bother checking the stats um <laughs> that's gonna be a uh, 24? Yes, that's it. Right? Yeah, all right. Uh, 3d6. Let's do. Mm. Oh, there we go. That one's good. 3d6. Ooh, a 2, a 6, and a 1. So hit him with that 9. Okay. It shudders. You kind of hear, you can't really hear under, uh, it doesn't look out a shriek or anything, but it definitely shudders and stops trying to punch a hole and it was really close by the way say there was like cracks in the underside Ooh. um and it kind of turns towards you why and <laughs> um before it can do anything though it's Naharin's turn unless yeah it, that's i assume that's your your turn yeah that's good that. enough okay i'd so- say I don't know what all my bonus actions are yet. So they're not. Yeah, there's not. A, you haven't unlocked a bunch of them at this point yet. Like, I was trying not to give you. Keeping it straightforward. I was trying not to give y'all too much. Enough to be fun, but not. We should have been level um, twenty and made this horrible. You're that, right. That, <laughs> um, that I've been played in those. I've played in level twenty one shots. It's yeah. As a play uh, on a system that hasn't been finalized. No, yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nahareen. Yes. You've been offered a potion of water breathing. You've got some undead merfolk, undead ghouls. You understand yes. there's a giant undead crab underneath you. Crab time. So I have zap. If I zap the water, does it electrocute the crab? I'm going to say you're, yeah, sure. Yes. And you just have such good <laughs> control Shisame that you avoid. Tarragon. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> tarragon. <laughs> I'm going to say it, it only hurts them if you if you crit fail. Yeah. perfect okay yeah. okay yeah. i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna zap okay. um i think i'm gonna try and zap for two two okay okay for, um for two ep oh sorry that's for one ep sorry one ep okay. um so then i will be uh shooting 2d6 lightning damage yeah mm-hmm. okay I- i'm gonna make I'm going to say as long as you don't crit fail, you hit it because you're just hitting the water. And it's like, how do you miss the water? Yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> Thank God. I rolled a 17. There you go. 
you do it um, roll roll 2d6 see how much this thing gets cooked five and five ten okay um this thing sizzles and cooks and it just kind of like it's not dead but it seems it almost kind of curls in on itself a little bit and it's kind of taking a breather i'm gonna say you you stun it and actually like it was supposed to be its turn but you've got that thing down so fucked up uh tygen what are you doing with your vine boys uh well i already drank the fucking thing and it fe- okay. it's gonna feel bad not to do anything with it you know uh, get down here it's fucking awesome <laughs> <laughs> And um, I'm going to say, Pat, that I'm going to walk five feet, take a, and just stop walking and let gravity do the rest. Mm-hmm. And I just like drop down in the water. Surely no one would say that that costs movement. Surely no one would say that. <laughs> wow. No, you do it. You guys, I mean, you're epic. You're these enhanced ability. Again, as riders having this bond, it's not only like these, not only like the magic powers, like casting spells, you are literally stronger faster able to leap tall buildings in a single bound okay you are enhanced you, you are enhanced creatures okay so you uh, got this the, the, yeah so i'll drop down to the water as i'm down there um uh Sailor axis will uh drop down as well and shine the beam on the crab so that we can all have a good uh idea of where to hit its weak points and things like that and i will push my legs off of its snoot and rush forward and try to stab, uh, push off my dragon snoot and try to skewer this creature with my blade. That is a 25. Mm -hmm. And that's a... uh, Using a different character sheet. That is... um, 11 damage and then his sword glows bright uh, uh blue and huge amounts of light shoot all around me um as i uh use a, my channel div- uh, smite my, my like kind of smite feature mm-hmm. and it will take an, an extra uh 11 damage Okay. It's a crab cake. <laughs> Damn. It's just this smoldering, steaming, just like all this, like all these bubbles kind of appear because it's like steam underwater. Ooh. It's just it's just like this blackened shell curls. Um, so, uh, so wait, are you are you saying it's the crab dead? is dead? Big it's crab dead. dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I still have another again. attack. Oh, yeah. I swack at it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> You got to crack the shell open so we can True. start getting in there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Penal will be back up on deck. Yeah. There is still three merfolk and um, three of the humanoid ghouls have kind of spilled over Ooh. onto so, the, the deck. So I'm alone <laughs> with all the ghouls. There's some <laughs> sailors doing their best. <laughs> like they're, they're pretty captain seasoned. said she but... could handle or they could handle it. I mean, they kind of, and you see, you see the captain and a sailor kind of tag team take down. Um, let me see, who do they take down? Nice. They take. <laughs> uh, they, uh, she. I mean, they dispatch the one armed Murf, undead merfolk Got it. based okay. on that role. Um, so that's one less, but um, they're they're doing okay. It's not like it's it's not like a, it's a given, but yeah. Cool. Cool. So, okay, so I'm on, so I'm on deck. I'm just trying to think, because I was going to, I feel like a lot of my powers are, like, things that, like, set other people up to do things, Mm -hmm. because I was going to do this one called Hinder, that basically makes it so that the next time someone attacks it, it automatically crits. Oh, cool. Um, Damn. That sounds good. I was like, I was going to do on the crab, but you guys just freaking flambeed that guy. Sorry, we're too strong. (laughs) I'll hit hit it a couple more times. Just explode it. Oh, dear. If Um, only I could crit it. We got (laughs) to gas her up. She's had a tough day. But I I think, um, I mean, you know, we're we're playing the one shot. I got to do some some fun stuff. We got to drag this crap back up on deck. It's a two shot. It's a two Mm -hmm. shot. But it's a one shot in that it's not like a full long campaign. It's a Mm -hmm. set thing. 
Call it Starbucks because it's a double shot. Cut that, um, David. Cut so- that, David. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. Don't cut it, that David. It Leave it. <laughs> Leave it. Um, oh, shit. We gotta have something for the bloopers. Let me do. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to pick. Um, let's say I don't know. It seems like I have a lot of options for people. Is there one that's like? attacking someone that seems like they're struggling or anything yes, like that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's a sailor. He, they're really new. It's like their first voyage and they're just they're shitting green. themselves. It's my and, first yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, I would like to cast Mind Skip on, All right. on one of the ghouls. Uh, and let's, oh, they need to make a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, ghoul's famously good at wisdom. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a four. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate for the ghoul because now, um, <laughs> uh, on a failure, the creature stares blankly into the distance until the start <laughs> of my next turn. <laughs> okay, I'll face so it in this way, the creature is incapacitated uh, and has a speed of zero. <laughs> so little uh, Johnny Skipper in his first trip. Yeah, he's he's got like his harpoon, and the ghoul's like ah, ah leaning over, trying to like yeah. bite at him. And then Penelope does her thing, and yeah. then the ghoul just kind of like just stops and just kind of. Yeah, let's say for this one, like uh, Penelope, like again, puts her arm out, and a different kind, like it almost looks like the the light is kind of like going like woo woo, like swirling around everywhere, mm-hmm. and then it just like kind of like explodes in its face, like. <laughs> And then it. it's yeah, his eyes rolled back, just blah. And it's just kind of just what is purpose of on <laughs> life. Exactly. <laughs> and uh and then I think that I'll do that and I mean I think that's it for me. Yeah. I'm gonna stay up on deck. No, we're all I think wet. I maybe I call my I think I call Oberon over so that I yeah. can maybe hop on. Excellent. Uh, da, 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 da. the um, one of the merfolk actually gets while you were doing that, one of the merfolk comes up and tries to do uh, a bite on you. No, no okay. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that six does not hit your AC. <laughs> it does it. I was like, so, ready. I was fully ready to get hit because my, yeah. my AC is not very high. I but... rolled like garbage. Um, <laughs> so yeah, merfolk, she missed uh, that one, misses. And then a second merfolk comes up, and I'm just trying to do. You called Oberon over because yeah. Dundak tries to do a bite on Oberon. No, they don't my know. beautiful boy. He's gonna die. Uh, it hits because I don't know what's AC. I said 18, 18 the AC for the dragon. Yeah, yeah. That hits me. That um, hits me. I'm sorry. That merfolk uh, is. I have my notes here. I need to be honest. They did not do a bite. It had a spear because the ghouls sometimes wield weapons. They just pick stuff up and it stabs. I'm sorry, your your sweet baby dragon boy takes no! four piercing damage. My boy. Mm-hmm. What does it look and... like? What's that? <laughs> oh, what does it look like when the dragon dies? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you're useless to us. Go <laughs> overboard. Yeah, but now yeah. like. Oh, uh choose May, what do you blood. do? Wait, what else? Uh choose May's turn. Uh shit, what's left? I mean, I'm underwater still. We Nothing underwater see. that you can see. I mean, this crab's still here, right? I, I was thinking we drain it's... this crab up, we start cooking yeah. up some, some crab <laughs> I mean, bodies. I mean, you still can. see it. It's dead and chopped in many pieces. But it's yeah. definitely uh so rotted and you can use it as like a, a float, it, like a um, yeah. like a raft. Ew. <laughs> Okay. Well, then why, why don't I scra- not recommend not eating it more? <laughs> why don't I <laughs> scrape off some of these barnacles off the bottom of the boat? Um, okay. Oh, so, I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, up, up I go. Uh, okay. Ba- back up to the tippy top, and there's what? There's a, a ghoul or two up here. There's still? some ghouls. There's a, yeah, some murf- some undead merfolk. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna f- I'm gonna flame blade a ghoul. Uh, All right, do it. Ooh, 11? No. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. From the ground? <laughs> Does that change anything? Um, yeah, that hit. Sorry. Okay. That's, that's it. I was like, damn, that's a beefy ghoul. Uh, it's... Ooh, a five, a three, and a five. Thirteen to the I mean, roll. What's it look like when you fucking vivisect this thing? Yeah, it's uh, it just like a hundred percent, um, just like lights in full. Like you see the sword come down, it splits, and then flame erupts from the cavity where the where the split happened. Oh, love it! Yeah, it lights the boat on fire. We all drown. <laughs> nice. oh, worth it. we do have to <laughs> sail on the crab husk yeah excellent wonderful turn Maharine I will um, hop on I think I was already on Susan hop on Susan's back yeah. in either case mm-hmm. uh, Susan and I would go upstairs and I would like to throw um my javelin of lightning at one of the ghouls that is trying to um uh, attack Mm -hmm. i protect (laughs) um i got a let's see i rolled a six plus a five eleven yep just it perfect how are you able to do that so fast math or I love doing stupid, like little math like that. Um, I don't know why it makes my brain happy. Uh, okay, you so. do the good brain chemicals. Yeah, it hurts me to do math. <laughs> um. Ooh, 11 damage 13 damage total nice yeah uh this thing just like explodes yes just um yeah not his ring just throws that out and says it's time you go to sleep it's past your bedtime <laughs> Hell yeah. that one's not really good but we'll workshop that later <laughs> susan you got any good go ones <laughs> And then oh, excellent, back. excellent. Tigan, Tigan, uh, it is pushed up uh, from the Blarney Deep like a freaking Sea World entertainer riding the <laughs> snoot of a killer whale, and launches in the air, and he slashes down uh, uh, in the. Uh, wherever there's uh, multiple enemies, Pat, and he doesn't care which one to attack, mm-hmm. um, probably will start with the one on his left as he's falling from the sky, and he goes, you'll sleep with the fishes! And that's my first attack, and that is a 19. Yep. That is... Freaking um, nine damage. That's just enough. You you kill one. I roll and then I slash at another one next to me, <gasps> and that is uh, fourteen damage. Wow. It yeah. You just are freaking laying waste. And then that is another eleven damage as my sword is mm. a flash of light in this cold night. So Tygen yeah. is just, despite his tall stature, it's mm-hmm. it's crazy. He's like just darting around and just you see these flashes of silver with the blade yeah. striking and ghouls are just dropping limp to the ground and uh unless there's anything else with that penelope there is one the only there's one undead murpha she, the one who she, stabbed your boy one undead murpha okay mm-hmm. all right pat i want to do a thing that's slightly unconventional because okay. i i'm not gonna attack it directly what i want to do is i want to use simple illusion <laughs> okay because <laughs> i want to lure it off I don't know. Is there like? Uh, I mean, I guess it would just drop down back into the water if I did that. Um, we're theoretically we're free of the crab, so we just say peace yeah. out. Yeah. So well, okay. So I, hmm, what would a ghoul love to attack? Pussy. Other than me? <laughs> <laughs> what ghouls ghouls have notoriously a hard time with cats. <laughs> 
um yeah let's because what is like because ghouls they just want to like eat people that's just like they're 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 driving forth right mm-hmm. like what are they what are ghouls yeah. into other than pussy <laughs> <laughs> humans that yeah. yeah let's say okay so like let's say i i would like to make um the illusion of like just a little like a child like <laughs> like uh, like trembling um and why'd you throw like, me a baby overboard i'm like, so tender <laughs> right like right in front of it like in front of the ghoul but it's like moving and it's like cry like running and crying but turning around like oh, don't chase me. i mean that sounds i'm gonna say that sounds so delicious to the undead merfolk and they're just like <laughs> it's their favorite it's their yeah. favorite treat and they just go after it yeah and but the illusion starts to climb down the side of the boat yeah <laughs> like snotting and crying goes <laughs> right over falls yeah 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 mm-hmm. that's what happens that's what happens and with that, the uh, so one of the sailors with their harpoons dislodged a broken bit of boat. There are a few ghouls still on it, you know, but they they they've dislodged it, and you seem to be moving on. And uh, people are kind of patrolling the 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 sides, you know, the the looking down over the railings, make sure nothing's trying to climb up out of the water. And you're kind of on your way. And everyone wants to chat, but you seem to be cautiously optimistic they've come yeah. through this uh silly Arxis is flying in circles with the spotlight trying to see if there's any mm-hmm. hangers on or things like that i'm patching oberon up and giving him lots of little kissies on the face <laughs> and pets and him little treats if any of them try to get back up on the boat can i tase them <laughs> yeah i just stand there absolutely. and i zap them with Susan, I say, you get off of this boat. This is our boat. I'm going to say, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, two more times, an undead merfolk tried to climb up, and Nahari exactly. just like, no, fuck off. No. <laughs> fuck <Scooch>. you. <laughs> get uh, out of here. Mm-hmm. And I, Chizumi, Chizumi says, well, now that that's done, I could go for some food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chizumi. <laughs> uh, the chef comes up and is like, Crab cakes, anyone? Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> and my face goes green. Uh, we're good. The, the rest of the trip goes well. So you were heading for a city called Ridgefall. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ridgefall is a city kind of up on a coastal cliff. Like the city proper is like these mountains. And then there's like a flat space and the city's there. And there's cliffs. And there's the port is kind of down a ways kind of a sea level right so it's like mm-hmm. big city up here kind of down the hill port and you're going there because you were hoping for a couple of, you had heard your clues had led you that one of the magistrates of the city might know something about we're gonna say you found a talisman with a weird symbol on ah. it, uh, at the scene of hester's murder and also the great thing about ridgefall is it's kind of out of the way a bit Mm-hmm. And it doesn't get a lot of attention from the, you know, it just kind of does its own thing. So you feel like you could fly under the radar, literally and figuratively <laughs> there. Um, so that's that's why you're going there. So that's, you know. We found some... a matchbook from the Happy yeah. Badger Inn. <laughs> hmm. Yes, exactly. It's the same, yeah. So the rest of the voyage, it's another day and a half or so, goes smoothly. And you see the mountain, the cliffs of Ridgefall. And, but as you come into port, the quiet, sleepy port you were expecting is not there. Instead, it is really busy. Oh, it is huh. all a bustle. Um, you look up, and there is, it looks like there's been like f- hundreds of flags and just like the decorative flags placed all along huh. like the path <laughs> from the port leading up to the city flags all over the city everyone's flying flags everywhere um it's flag day it's just it's just and there's 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 like carts and stalls and encampments along the path up to the city and it's just like a shit ton of people this is a hot spot yeah and what's more is you see dragons flying <gasps> around the mountain kind of like just kind of lazily doing like laps around the mountain that looms over the city lots of them lots of dragons dragon town sick Hmm. 
You're expecting again. Pretty chill. Now we were going here because it's, 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 it's a sleepy backwards town, and this looks like a, a damn fair on Harvest Day. <laughs> What's wrong with having a little fun? We're not so, supposed to be here. We're renegades, you see. <clears throat> um, do you disembark? Talk to I anyone? tell my dragon to beat feet. But I stay on the on the freaking boat. What does that mean? Beat feet, <laughs> run away. <laughs> You're just sitting them off. Yeah, I can communicate uh, I with my dragon over long distances. Mm. I mean, I think um, you gotta get off the boat, right? To, to, to uh, as you pull in, there is a uniformed, like a military uniformed individual on the dock where the ramp would come down, kind of waiting there. And the person next to them wearing professional clothes with a clipboard. And he sees you talk to your dragon and send him off flying. And kind of waves, waves you to come down. <laughs> I do it. Uh, I know my tags a- aren't expired. <laughs> and, and uh we're fishermen and he, kinda, <clears throat> he goes so uh the person goes um uh your name dragon's name team name what's your team name i don't have a dragon but my name is tygen bruntegar uh, i literally the, the the taller gentleman in the armors i literally just saw you talk to that to that dragon it was, kind of wild. Matching, it was wild it was you kind of a have a matching one. it was a wild theme one it was a your... wild one mm-hmm. what about <clears throat> those three dragons that's You're a for... or the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It was a coincidence. What can we say? You gotta you start asking more that... questions. We're gonna uh, have a yeah. problem. We need <laughs> we need your names and your team name. Oh. For the Ridgefall relay, the Rither Dragon race that you're here oh. to I mean, why else would you be here? Oh, oh. are you here for another reason? No. Are you running a dragon ra- no. I'm I Chizumi thought... Kusaki, and you know I'm the leader because I'm wearing goggles. <laughs> right, write that down. That's true. Um, yeah, right. we mm-hmm. thought you were the competition. Yeah, that's right. You were the competition, see? And we didn't trust you. Yeah, that's right. Add another C in hey. there. Just for... <laughs> see? <laughs> My dragon's name is... Lightning McQueen. We're by me not to bet on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I need a team name for the race. Oh. Disney's cars. Disney's cars. <laughs> okay. Right in there. Uh, it's cease spelled and different. D I Z Z. Disney. Disney. It leans over the the armor. Remind me to look up parody law. <laughs> oh but uh yeah you've in- inadvertently signed up for a, a dragon relay race oh and, so we really did sign up and for it. we're gonna find out how that goes next week oh, oh not again wait so what, i feel like we shouldn't call ourselves disney's cars <laughs> <laughs> yeah too late. You, you want to amend it real quick it's yeah. too late the we atlanta do. falcons <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars is the Millennium Falcons. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pat. That yes, was a, a blast first session. We'll be uh, having our second one next week. And yet again, Pat, please tell the fine folks about the Songs of Chaos Kickstarter yeah. coming October 11th. Thank you. So this was a tiny, tiny snippet of the Songs of Chaos fifth edition book it's an adaptation of the book series where you could do like these lovely folk have and play as a dragon rider and get lots of original cool new powers and abilities and go on adventures with your dragon pal and fly through the air and do lots of cool shit um kickstarter goes live october 11th and if you like playing ttrpgs and you like dragons Mm -hmm. and you like this show if you like greetings adventurers and geekly I mean, you should click the affiliate link in the show notes yeah. that comes out 11, October 11th and support because you and get the book, get a fun adventure and support this community. Yeah. Yeah. A little kissy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. Pat. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you much. For... And uh, we'll be back next week as we all every single 
Tuesday. You can find the show at D&D Podcast on Twitter or at Greetings Adventurers on Instagram. Check out our fine things there. We also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash D&D Podcast. We just released episode one of The Foaming Takered, uh, DM'd by our very own chronicle, chronicler, oracle extraordinaire, Mr. Red. Uh, and we're joined by uh, a, a chunk of the uh, crew from the Dungeons and Dragons podcast. So it's a great one. Okay. Head on over to the Patreon to check out more episodes of that. You can find Michael on Twitter at Thrifty Nerd. You can find me on Twitter at Tim Lanning. You can find me on Twitter at Jennifer Cheek. You can find me on Twitter at Nika underscore Howard. You're muted. You're muted. I know! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the Mike Bachman. And Pat, how, uh, where can I'm, we find you specifically? I, I stole Bachman's whole like shtick because I'm at the Pet Edwards. You know, the one. whole like putting a the and then your name, mm -hmm. you know? Like, yeah, I invented that. He's the yeah, only yeah. person. That's, he's He was the first person to do it. I was the second. I was like, yeah, I definitely didn't do that to my AOL Instant Messenger screen name back in the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to say keep it dicey, but I'm going to quote Michael. Keep it dicey. 